Hello, I'm Pastor Joe, and welcome back to the Parsons Bench Workshop. It is a hot day. It's mid-June, and just like a lot of other areas in the country, eastern North Carolina is experiencing a heat wave. We're under a heat advisory. It's like 96 degrees, and the heat index is about 108. Uh, my wife was concerned, which I'm grateful for. Uh, she said, aren't you going to get hot? And I just figured, you know, I do want to lose some weight and people pay money to go to the sauna. So I'm going to go out and do some woodworking and do some sweating like I was in a sauna. So it should be the best of both worlds. Well, look, today I want to do a project, a little project uh, on the scroll saw. I hadn't been on the scroll saw in a while and I'm really missing it. Uh, we're going to do a compound cut project. Now, a compound cut on the scroll saw is where you cut uh, two different sides. Um, instead of just you know cutting it's really a 3d cut so you cut on one side then you flip it and you cut on the other and you end up with a thing here's one of the first compound cuts i did it's a keychain it's not very good um but uh, it's the keychain for my workshop uh and it says uh parsons bench so you cut on one 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 plane then you rotate it over and you cut on the other um so I'm not going to be doing this, I'm going to be doing another one. This is a Steve Good project, uh, it says Jesus Lives, and um, uh, so we're going to be using some pine. This is the same uh, type of wood that I used for my workbench earlier. Uh, came out of a tobacco barn that dates back at least to the 1920s, a friend of mine uh, gave me some lumber and it really comes out very well. Uh, I think that's what I did this keychain out of too. Uh, so let's start this process. I'm going to start by cutting the uh, pattern and we'll glue it to the wood then we'll move over and start doing some cutting. So we're going to begin. I need to cut the this pattern uh, particularly the sides. I need to cut right on these lines. So I'm going to take a ruler and my razor blade and get these cut just as close as I can. Not perfect, but wow, it's really not perfect. Let's see if we can do this one any better. That's a little better. So I got the uh, blank that we're going to be cutting this out of, uh, got it covered with blue painter's tape. I'm going to take the uh, pattern now and I'm going to use this uh, 3M Super 77. This is what I have found works best for me. I've tried some other and um, I ended up having a few issues with it, uh, but there's plenty of others that would work. So we're going to give the pattern a good spray. I think that'll work all right. Um, there's only two interior cuts, so I'm going to go over to the drill press and drill those, drill some holes in there so we can get it, and then we can get over to the scroll saw and start cutting this thing. All right, we're going to start with the uh, the two interior cuts. I'm using a number twelve blade since this is an inch and a half thick. Thank you. 
All right, we got half of it cut out now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it back in and I'm gonna get some packing tape and we're gonna tape it back together so that I can uh, cut this other side now and everything will stay in place. So let me go get the packing tape and uh, get this taped together. I got that cut. I think what I'm going to do is take it over to the uh, my miter saw and trim the ends, and then I'll meet you over at the workbench and we'll do an unveiling. So I'm going, to, I'm going to knock off some of the sawdust and then uh, we should be ready to spray it with a couple of coats of a, a spray finish and then I'll be able to get you a picture of the finished product. Okay, so I did two coats of that uh, clear spray finish on this. I let it dry overnight. I think it came out pretty good. Uh, when I first got out here this morning, I did uh, lightly sand it uh, with my disc, disc sander uh, flapper wheel thing uh, just to kind of smooth it up uh, after the uh, finish had dried. This is, the pattern for this is a Steve Good design. It's a free pattern. You can get it on his site. I'll put a link to the, his site below and then you can go, he's got all kinds of uh, patterns and um, uh, so just if you've never been, go take a look at it, uh, just about anything you could want and try different levels I think of how difficult and all that it is. Uh, but the compound cut on the scroll saw can do some amazing things. Uh, if you've never tried it, I encourage you to give it a try and uh, just see how it goes. Well, I do want to thank you for joining me for this video. I hope you'll join me for the next one. And I hope that maybe this will inspire you and encourage you to get out in your own shop and make some sawdust.